Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to use your Google home page. The first thing you need to do, do is um, open up your Internet Explorer and go to www.google.com. You already have um, a Google account. I don't know if you remember it or not. It'll bring you up to the main Google page and you're going to click up here at the top right hand corner where it says sign in. But first, if this video is too small and you can't see it, um, you need to go down to the bottom right corner, right above the time, you'll see a little um, icon that says 100%. And if you click on the little arrow next to it that says change zoom level, you click down or you click that down arrow and you'll get some options to change it to 125% or 150%. If you'd like to do that because your video is too small, pause the video right now. You can go ahead and click on the little play button and it'll change it and pause it. Go down here to the bottom right to the 100% and change it to make your video look bigger. When you're happy with the size, then you can... Okay, now hopefully you have made your video bigger and you can see better. So again, you go to the top right hand corner and click on sign in. And here you're going to type in your email, which is your Hotmail account, the WH Mori. And then but your password is going to be your last name and your last four. And then you can go ahead and leave this box checked that says remember me on this computer because it's only going to remember it on the computer you're using. And then hit sign in and I'd go ahead and hit yes on this too so you don't have to continually type in your username and password. And this should be what your home page looks like. When you first sign in it may look like this. But you'll know that you're signed in because it'll say WH Mori up here. And if it looks like this, you just click right next to WH Mori where it says I Google. And this is your personal home page. It has your calendar right here at the top left. This is the same calendar that you see on your web page that I made for you. Um, so let me just show you a couple of things about your calendar. To go to it, you click on the words Google Calendar. And it'll open up your calendar in a separate window. See how it's opening up a separate window? And if you want to make this window bigger, you can just click in the middle button right there. And here's your appointment in July. And then if you click the right or left button up here next to the words Google, it'll take you back a month or forward a month. So I'm going to click forward a month and go to August. And here are all your August appointments. And if you get way out to a different date and you want to come back to today, you can just click today and it'll take you back to today. Okay, so if you want to make a new appointment, it's easy. Um, for example, let's say I want to make one in the 6th. I'm going to double click on the 6th. Let's just say you have another doctor's appointment. So I'm going to click doctor appointment. If it's 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to hit 8 dot dot o o and it'll automatically put the time in. And then I click create event. Um, now that's not really an appointment, so I want to delete it. The way I delete an appointment is click on it and just hit delete. It'll bring up and it'll say, are you sure you want to delete? And I hit yes. I had added this one earlier. I'm going to delete it too, so I'm going to click on it and hit yes, I really want to delete it. Same with this one. Delete. Yes, I really want to delete it. Okay, another thing I want to show you is these little tabs right here. Right now we're in the month view. You can change to the day view the week view, the four day view, or the agenda. If you click on the agenda, for example, it will show you all of your dates for August, all of your appointments for August. I'm going to go back to the month view. Okay, so that's your calendar. Now remember, it opens your calendar in a different window, so I'm going to exit out, and your iGoogle page will still be behind there. Um, also, you have a to-do list in the top middle. You just click in this box where it says new item, and this is just for little stuff that you want to add and delete as you think of them that you need to do them. Um, for example, if you want to type pick up laundry, hit enter, and it'll add it to your list. Click in the box again, pick up Josh, click enter, and it will add it to your things to do. And this will always come up whenever you open up your Google page. Say I have to buy shoes. Click enter. Now, if I can spell it right. Click enter.
enter and it's going to add it to your list. So here are your to-do things right here. And whenever you get one done, you just click the X that's right next to it and it'll take it off your list. So I'm going to go ahead and take off all three of them. Um, you also have uh, date and time right here, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you have top stories, top news stories right here. You can just click on these and it'll take you to the story. You have CNN top stories each day, so you can click on those and it'll take you to the story. I put a Bible search on your page. For example, if you um, have a passage or just can think of a couple of words of a passage and you want to know where it is in the Bible, you click in the box. For example, I'm going to type, For God So Love. Let's say that's all I can remember of that verse. I click Go. It'll bring up uh, another window again, a separate window, just like the calendar did. And it will tell me exactly where this Bible verse is from, and it'll explain the Bible verse if I want it to. So if I scroll down, it'll say that it came. Oh, well, it's just bringing up those words right now. Let's see. So here's For God So Loved the World, John 3.16. And I can click here and read the whole chapter if I want to. When I'm done, again, I can X out. And it also has a verse of the day. So you can click here. It's Matthew 7, 7 through 11 to read it. Or I can click right next to it and listen to the verse. You scroll down a little further. You have daily weather. Right now I just have Birmingham weather, but I can add Mobile, Texas, wherever else you want me to add. Also put right here in the middle to the left of the weather an EWTN news, which has the top news for EWTN. Just click on the link of the article that you want to read. And then there's a Google Maps search here that you can um, search for hotels, addresses, whatever you want. If you just click in this bottom box and then click the search button right there. Okay, so that's about all or the basics for your home page right now. I hope you'll use it, especially your calendar. Um, and if you ever want to sign out, it's up here top right again, the sign out button. Again, you can always tell that you're signed in mm -hmm. because it'll say WH Mori up here and it's fine to leave it signed in on your computer. Hope you like it.